Hello, my name is Chuck Orlandi with Miami Shores Auto Repair here in Miami Shores, Florida. The symptoms that you would have if you had an electric fuel pump failure, uh, normally you'd lose power. The car would be driving along, it'll just quit. Sometimes you will have intermittent problems where the fuel pump will stop pumping. You may shut the car off, start it back up, it might start. Uh, that's something that's, you know, it's hard to, hard to know which way it's gonna fail, but Nevertheless, either way, it's going to have to be something that's taken care of. Uh, when we get those cars in here, usually they come on a tow truck. Uh, the first thing we do is check to see if we have fuel or, and or spark at the spark plugs. That's when a car cranks and doesn't start, that's what we'll do. Um, then they, most cars now have a fuel line uh, adapter where you can hook up a fuel pressure gauge, put it on there, crank it. If nothing happens, we know we've got a problem in the fuel pump. Um, Typically, most fuel pumps today are inside the gas tank. You'll have to drop the fuel tank out of the car. Drink, first, you drain all the fuel, drop the tank, pull the fuel pump out, and then we replace the fuel pump and the filter. Um, those jobs can get quite expensive, uh, depending on the parts, but most of the times they can get over $500 real easy. Most of the times up in the $800 range to change a fuel pump. Um, then again, it's not an easy job to do. And it is quite a common problem. The main way to stop the fuel pump failure, if you want to try to prevent it, is to replace the inline fuel filter on a regular basis.